mi pasado Voy a hablarle de mi vida, no todo es lo que parece Yo también he batallado Yo vengo de gente humilde y hay muchos momentos tristes Imposible de olvidarlos Pobres viejos se esforzaban demasiado Get Royal Corner Boy Major Seekers, welcome back to a new video. Today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be camming my black show truck. I'm super super excited because uh, it's gonna sound amazing, or at least I hope it does, you know. We're gonna be going with a custom cam from Texas Speed. Shout out to Texas Speed and I wanna give a huge shout out to my guy who's gonna be doing all the work on my truck, Manny's Garage. Make sure you guys check him out on Instagram, I'm gonna leave his name right here. Hit him up for any motor work, he does cams, swaps, superchargers, turbos. Uh, converts V6 to V8, all that good work, anything you name it, he'll get it done for you guys. So right now we're gonna drive over there and then we'll catch you guys over there. So we're dropping off my truck right now. We brought my daily to ride back. And I want to show you guys a couple of trucks that are here as well. Getting some work. Nothing but pro fast guys. This is a shot for fast guys. Check it out. All done by my boy, Manny's Garage. All right, my Jared Seekers, so as you guys know, I already got my truck back from getting canned. And the first day that I drove back home, guys, it was already nighttime. Come on, I want to say maybe like around 10 at night. And what I ended up doing is I ended up leaving my truck in the front overnight. What I did is I just pulled up to the curb. I turned it off right away because it's super, super loud. And I didn't want my parents to hear it because I want to get the reaction and, and see what they have to say about the cam, you know. So that's why I just left it in the front. And the next day, early in the morning, when they went to go grocery shop, what I did is I grabbed my truck and I moved it in my backyard and then I turned it off. And since then, guys, it's already been a couple of days, but I've been going up and down. And I haven't had time to record the reactions. So my truck has just been sitting in the backyard and I haven't turned it on. They think it's still normal. They think it's probably not loud but yeah guys right now is a perfect chance we're actually gonna go to work in a little bit real quick i'm just gonna call him over and then i'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna get the reaction i don't know what the reaction is gonna be like guys because one thing my parents do not like are like loud cars yeah they love fixed up trucks trust me they like rims they like drops anything that makes the truck look nicer they love but one thing they do not really like is, is the sound they say what's the point que ganas con eso and the funny part is my parents always say los carros que hacen más ruido son los que no arremangan and that's true guys pinche v6 no corre no, I'm just messing around guys. As a matter of fact, so many of you guys have told me to add an exhaust to my parents' brand new truck. But that is something I would never do. For the same reason I just told you guys, uh, they love their truck. It's all nice and fixed up. But one thing they do not like and they wouldn't feel comfortable with would be driving around a, lo a loud car. Yeah, that's what we're not going to go ahead and do that. But yeah guys, the only reason why I did that to my truck guys is because, because now my truck is going to be 100% a show truck. I'm going to take it here and there for little shows, maybe to little meets. But I'm not going to be dating that black truck no more. So that's why, because if we get caught, that's actually a state rep here in California due to uh, super secure California laws, which sucks. I wish I was in Texas when it comes to stuff like this, you know. But yeah guys, it is what it is, oh well. So enough chatting, let's go call my parents over and then let's turn on the truck and let's get the reaction. ¿Qué te da? ¿Qué te da? ¿Qué ¿Por qué 
Alright guys, so real quick what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing something, a uh, small little update. It's, this is not for lugs or any of that, it's kind of more uh, maintenance. Um, and this is something that I have been leaving aside for a while, for a while, and it sucks because um, we've just been doing it like that for like a long time. So if you guys remember when I got these new door panels, back then, back then I used to have the, the manual ones and they would just turn into electric. As you guys can see, here's the old aftermarket switch, but I ended up buying the, the original um, OEM door panel but the only thing that i haven't done yet is i haven't connected these switches yet we're going to be doing that pretty soon the difference between these two panel guys back then this handle on the other one it used to be right here so the handle used to be right here so right behind it there's a small little latch and since this one moved a little bit more to the right the latch is too short so it doesn't reach so this handle hasn't been working so when i close the door and you try to open it from here um it's not it's not working because none of this is connected so we'll just have to lower down the window reach out for example like this and i'll show you guys I'm pulling it and it's not working so what I would have to do is open it from out here like that So that, that's pretty funny because every time I would go to shows or I would go to places um, People would like they'll be looking and me and my compalado we used to be embarrassed because people would be looking waiting for us to get off the truck And then they would just see us reach out and open it and they would all say like what, what happened your door doesn't work or what And that was super funny it just happened to us recently at a show It's not a big deal guys it's super easy to fix uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I had to do. Uh, just in case if you guys are confused, this is the latch. What I'm talking about right here. See, it's super long. It looks like it's it looks like it's too long. It doesn't fit, but it does fit. And the other one that I have, I want to say maybe it's about here. So that's the difference. And like I said, I actually been having these. Look, I'm not even lying to you guys. I bought this April 22nd, guys, and we're already in June. It's already been two months that I've been having these, but I just been having them here at my house. And then at the same time, since my truck has been at shops, I'm having had time to put them on. But yeah, time to stop procrastinating put this on and get this latch working and then pretty soon like i said we're going to be connecting this as well so everything looks legit so right now you guys are just going to see me uh install this latch and then once i pull it out i'm going to compare it to this one so you guys see the difference all right guys so it took us about like an hour and a half just to take this little thing off because it was super like uh platado here but this is the difference. This is the old one since I had the, the old panels. And then this is the other one, look. For example, this is Lalo Schlong and this is my Schlong. Okay. You guys know what I mean. So this is the difference now. And I was at the rest, it doesn't connect from here. It connects from the actual door to here. So that's why maybe you guys were like, back then it was connected like this and the handle was right here. And now it's the opposite. That's over here. So yeah, so now it's very easy to install it. All I gotta do is just poke this in. So let's install it.
Hi, right, my dear, it's Tukas. That's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the cam. Uh, how does it sound? You guys give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Make sure you guys comment. Smash that like button if you guys want to keep seeing more engine upgrades. If you need to my channel, become a Joey Tukas today by subscribing. And I'll see you in my next video. Please.